Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the iconic modern television show about guts, nerves, and knowledge where players can win and feel like a million bucks. So, today we're in the modern studio with a lot of lovely faces. Good to see you all here. And today we're just going to be rolling along with what we've got. So today we've got a contestant playing for $1 million. So yeah, here we go. Please welcome to the stage, Zefdox. Hello, hello, Zavdox. Welcome to the show. Oh. Oh. All right. So yeah, um, I th he has been on the show previously in the classic studio for yes. a while now. So he must have a good f feeling about this one. He's feeling it, Jim. Uh, dark. I can. I, I, I feel like I can do it. Get that one million dollars, and then I don't know. Spend it on stupid shit. Let's <laughs> hope so. All right. So here's how the game works for now. You're just 15 questions away from winning one million dollars. The questions do get progressively harder as the money tree climbs up, and you're guaranteed the win at one thousand dollars and thirty-two thousand dollars. Now. You do have three lifelines to work with. There's 50-50, which will take away two incorrect answers, leaving only one wrong answer and the correct answer. Um, and then we've got phone a friend, which will allow you to phone any one of the audience members we got here. And we have a new lifeline, which is ask the hosts. So, let me explain how that works. If you wanted to, you can ask for my opinion on a question. And I will tell you what I think is the right answer. Now, it'll be up to you to figure out if it's the if it's your final answer. And go from there. Oh, I all right. So, are you ready to play? I am ready. Audience, thumbs up if you're ready to play. Thumbs up, you pricks. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. First question for 100 bucks. Here it is. OJ is an abbreviation for which drink? Soda? Orange juice? Apple juice, pina colada. I am choosing the B. Final answer? Yes, final answer. Nope, no fooling you. You got it right for a hundred bucks. Okay. Next hey, question for two. Oh, Jay. Well, not really. If you floss, you clean between your what? Teeth, toes, nostrils, ears. Come on. Oh, that's obviously oh, gotta be. Some D. A. Final answer? Yes, final answer. Right again for 200 bucks. Next question for 300. For which, which of these is not a brand of computer? Apple, Dell, HP, Hoover. Decisions, decisions, but I'm going to have to put my money on D. Final answer? Final answer. 
Yes, Hoover's was uh, was a vacuum cleaner company. Bingo, bingo. Next question is for five five hundred bucks. Here it is. A famous U.S. bank is named Wells. What? Cargo, embargo, Fargo, Largo. Uh, Fargo, Fargo. I'm going to have to put the 50 50 on this one, sire. Final decision? Yep, final. All right, computer, please take away two incorrect answers, leaving only one wrong answer. And the correct answer, please. Fargo and Largo are um, left over. Going to have to put on the on the C. Fargo's well. Fargo? Final answer. Final answer. Right again for five hundred bucks. Bingo. All right, next question is for $1,000 in your first threshold, buddy. Oh, yeah. Who is the Sorcerer's Apprentice in the movie Fantasia? Goofy, Donald Duck, Pluto, Mickey Mouse. Uh, I think, I think, I think, I'm going to have to put my money on the D. Final answer? Final answer. Well, no fooling you. You got it right for $1,000. Thousand freaking mackers. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and now you're about to go for the next question for two. <laughs> Two thousand dollars, I think. Okay. Which of the following is a cons is the concern of pedi pediatricians? Children. Feet. Hands. The elderly. Is the phone you got a phone on this one? If I like, I know what it is, I just need like a second opinion on this. All right, out of everybody who in this audience here, who do you want to phone? I want to phone J Rob. Final decision, yes. All right, let's get J Rob on the line, please. Hello. Hello, J Rob. Hello, J Rob. Yes. Yes, this is Duncan calling for Millionaire. How you doing? Well, I'm great. That's you? great. Your your friend uh, Z Zadog Docs as is going for two thousand dollars and he needs your help. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Here's how this is gonna work. Zadox is gonna have thirty seconds to, give you, to tell you the question and the possible answers. It's your job to tell him what you think is the right answer. You up for it? Yes. Let's do. All right, Zav. Zavdoc, you you have three seconds. Your time starts now. All right, Jay. Well, is it the elderly, or, the elderly, or feet? I think it's children. Pediatricians typically take care of children. Are you hundred percent sure on that? 
I'm positive. All right, I'll I'll try on that because I'm not big. They're not big on the whole name, so we'll try on that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to wing it and say, children, a. Final answer. Final answer. Got it! Baby! Just stop. Alright. You got yourself $2,000 so far, and you used up two of your lifelines. You've got Ask the Host oh. left over. And now you're going for $4,000 next. If you're ready. Here's the next question. Yeah, I'm ready. What type of radiation gave the Hulk his powers? Alpha? Beta? Gamma? Ultraviolet? Um, this one I'm gonna have to say C. Gamma. Final answer? Final answer. Alrighty, you chose C. I know in the comics, when when Bruce Banner was saving somebody, he got hit by gamma radiation. You are right. Bingo. Bingo, what's his name? Oh, <laughs> all right, you did well so far. You got yourself four thousand dollars going for eight thousand dollars. Okay, the sap from which tree is used to make a popular edible syrup? Bay, pine. You, Maple. Um, I think this one is pretty conclusive in my mind. So. Day D, Maple. Final answer? Final answer. So you decided to choose D and risk it on this question. And your risk for paid off, you double it to $8,000. Yeah. yeah. All right. You got it here. Here's, here's the next question for $16,000. Which newspaper publication acquired the popular online game Wordle when it was a, when it became a huge trend? The New York Times, the Boston Globe, the Chicago Tri Tribune, the Washington Post. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to ask you on this one. Final decision? Yes. Alright, for those of you at home watching, I'm not in a Discord call with anybody. No communication with the outside world, and I can't see the correct answer Af until somebody selects their final answer. Um, hmm. Well, here's what I, I think. I feel it's either. I think it's between New York or Washington. Hmm. Well, here's what I think. I know that the Washington Post is a thing. And I know the New York Times is a thing as well. Chicago Tribune, 
All these I'm familiar with, except the Boston Globe, because that doesn't make sense. But I've never heard of the game Wordle before, and this is all new to me. So, oh man, if if I had to take a guess, because I don't know for sure, I'm going to have to say C is my final answer. The question is, is uh -oh. it your final answer? Hmm, I don't, it doesn't feel like this is be Chicago. I feel that it's gotta be A of D, so... My bad. You're good. Like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, cost of sacrifice, total, every higher land, no, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, my mom to pick the very best one, and you are not it. I'm gonna choose A. Fuck it. <laughs> final answer? Final answer. So you decided to take a guess because you don't know for sure who what it was. And it's a good thing you didn't take my advice because A was the correct answer. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <sighs> All right, you did well. You got yourself $16,000. You have used up all of your lifelines. And now you're going for the next threshold, which is $32,000. And remember, you can walk away with the money you won at any point in time. Remember that. Okay, okay. Alright, here's the next question. The Nobel Peace Prize is named after what? The inventor of what? Dynamite? The atom bomb? The pacemaker? The handshake? I'm gonna have to choose the atom bomb. Boom bomb, baby. Final answer? Final answer. So you decided to choose B, huh? I have chosen B. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think it was the atom bomb. It was a dynamite. This is some bullshit. Damn it. I'm sorry. You're back down to a thousand dollars. Thank you for playing. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back with Millionaire right after this. Hey, you think you know trivia? You know. The most yeah. award-winning CD-ROM game in history is now a talking tabletop game. game. What's Abraham Lincoln's song? Now read the question and open the door. Uh, you know this one? Player one, one, it's all yours. Aries. Uh, you guys are uh, pathetic. Uh, the categories from The Life and Times of a Snack Cake to 9021. Uh-oh. Okay. Imagine Henry VIII marries Carol Brady. That was impressive. Yes! You don't know, Jack! The irreverent trivia party game. Are you ready for life beyond Y2K? Kids WB wants to set you up for the future. Just watch Batman Beyond this weekend and tell us the name of the futuristic pizza place where Terry takes his brother. Put the answer along with your name, address, age, and phone number on a postcard and mail it to Batman Beyond Y2K Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 8593, Calabasas, California. Or enter at kidswb.com. The grand prize winner will receive the all-new Mac iBook. Others will win Batman Beyond home videos and soundtrack CDs. Prepare for Y2K with Batman Beyond at Kids WB. Hello and welcome back to Millionaire. So today, 
Well, if you just joined us, uh, we we had another contestant who went all the way down to one thousand dollars. He got to the thirty-two thousand dollar mark, but falled short. But yeah, we're going to move on to another contestant who will be playing for $1 million here on the show. Everybody, please welcome to the stage, J-Rob! J-Rob, welcome back, buddy. Yay. So yeah, J-Rob has been a contestant on our show in an unlisted video that (laughs) I'm probably going to make public soon. But yeah. Oh my. So, you already know the rules, you already know the lifelines. We have 50-50, ask the host, and then phone a friend. You can use those at any time during the game. And then you're guaranteed to win at one thousand dollars and thirty-two thousand hmm. dollars. So yeah, let's hope you know much about hmm. trivia. All right. Hmm. Without further ado, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? All right. First question is for one hundred bucks. Here it is. Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Princess Leia are characters from which film? Star Trek? Dune? Star Wars? The Muppet Movie? Oh, come on now. Who who doesn't know this? It's C, Star Wars. Alright, select it if you can. With the cursor. Uh, there we go. And the final answer. Final answer. <laughs> no fooling you. You got it right. For one hundred bucks. Next question for two hundred. Which of these characters is typically depicted? With a large S embal zoned on its chest. Snoopy, Superman, Shrek, Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> well, Scrooge McDuck had a giant like money sign on his vault, but on Krypton. The S means hope, so uh, Superman. Final B. answer. Final answer. Mm-hmm. Well, right again for two hundred bucks. Yep. Next question for three hundred. What is the name of the airplane that usually transports the president? Airport One, Air Force One, Prezar One, Hail to Chief. <laughs> as much as I love Hail to the Chief, baby, uh, I, I I have to go with B, Air Force One. Final answer. Mm. Well, Air Force One is definitely something that the president would use. You got it right. Mm -hmm. Next question. Mm -hmm. Someone who raises false alarms is said to cry what? Fox? Wolf? Baby? Badger? (laughs) What's the big idea, Fox? No, it's not a... It's B... Crying wolf. I know. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Hmm. Right again, 500 bucks. All right, this is it. Next question is for $1,000. Here it is. 
In the world of Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter, what are muggles? Spells, magic potions, ordinary people, cats. Meow, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, in the world of Harry Potter, they, they're just normal people, ordinary people. So, C. Final answer? Final. Yes. As Harry would say, <laughs> and I suppose that all my words, like yourselves, are going to stop him, are you? And Harry said, asked, what is muggles? They're like non-magic folks, he said. You're right! For $1,000. Yes. All right. All right. You got to $1,000 so far. Mm -hmm. And that's yours to keep no matter what. Oh, All right. Here's the, ne here's, here's the next question for $2,000. The, the Japanese wine known as sake is made from the fer fermentation of what potatoes rice grapes fish oh Well, most wine is made from grapes, but sake? Ah. Uh, hmm. I'm going to use my 50-50. Final decision? Yes. Alright, computer, please take away two incorrect answers, please. Potatoes and rice are left over. Okay. That's a little better. I think I'm gonna go with B, rice, because rice is more common than potatoes, I wanna say, over in Japan. Oh, uh, B. Final answer. I certainly hope I'm right. <sighs> well, I'll tell you one thing. It isn't potatoes! You got it right! Uh, <laughs> Alright. Next question is for $4,000 next. The Korean War was fought in which decade? The 1940s? The 1950s? 1960s? Or 1970s? Uh, pretty sure it was the 1950s. Because... Mm, the 40s, end of World War II, 60s was Vietnam. So I'm going to go with B. Final answer? Please. Yeah. It was a tricky question, but he managed to pull it off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Next question is for eight. I think eight thousand dollars. Next. Mm -hmm. In which country is the Vol Volvo company based? Volvo. Mm -hmm. Volvo yeah. Mm -hmm. Germany. Netherlands, Sweden, 
Finland. Uh, Germany is Volkswagen. Not that one. I want to say it's... I don't know if the Netherlands has a car brand that's familiar. I don't know about Finland either, so... Uh, I think I'm gonna go with C, Sweden. Final answer? Yeah. Hoping I'm... So it wasn't Germany or the Netherlands? And it wasn't Finland either. You got it. Whew. Uh, I thought I remember somebody. I remember looking that up before. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so far, you're doing well. You got yourself $8,000 so far. You have two lifelines left over. And you're going for $16,000 next. Here's the next question. <laughs> What is the top of a column called? Capital? Vinyl? Pediment? Corns? Uh, gosh, I don't even know who would know these. Video. Pediment, I have no idea. Remember, you got your lifelines if you need them. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Why would a top of a column be called a capital? That seems, seems kind of strange. Eyes. I wish I was a little more familiar with architecture. Yeah. Uh, who in the audience would know, though? I have no idea. I mean, it's totally up to you if you want to use a mm -hmm. lifeline. Flee. What flazy you know? Hmm. Flazy, would you know? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna ask Flazy. He's one of my lifelines. Oh, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Final decision. Yeah. All right, let's get Flazy on the line, please. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Flazy? <laughs> Hello, it's Duncan calling yes. from Millionaire. Uh, how, are, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. All right, uh, J. Rob has a has stuck on a question and needs your help. Are you okay with that? Uh, yes. All right. Like I said before, uh, with the other audience, um, J. Rob will have thirty seconds to tell you the question and the four possible answers, and it's your job mm. to to steer him to the right question if you can if you know the right mm -hmm. one are you ready with that I will try yes alright J-Rob you have mm -hmm. 30 seconds your time starts now 
Okay, Blazy, what is the top of a column called? Is it a capital, a finial, a pediment, or a cornice? Cornice. How do I say that? I what would you say? It's, uh, I would think it's D. D, okay. All right. <laughs> But I'm not sure. Hmm. All right, so he thinks it's D. What do you think? Uh, I have no idea, so I'd be inclined to agree. I'm gonna go with D. Final answer? Okay. Final answer. So it wasn't finial or pediment. And if you're going to call a to top of a column something, it's got to be capital. It's A. Oh, uh, really? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. You're back down to $1,000. Thanks that... for playing. Oh, oh. thank you. <laughs> no problem. We'll be right back with Millionaire right after this. Imagine a Saturday so big, so huge, so gigantic, so enormous, so ridiculously full of great cartoons that it explodes and takes over Friday. Now what are you going to do, huh? You can't have two days with the same name. It'd be confusing. Announcing the creation of... Friday, starting Friday, September 8th. Weekends will be one day longer on Kids WB. Why did the frog cross the road? He didn't. We've rebuilt one of the greatest video game heroes of all time, and now he's back. Frogger on CD-ROM. The classic arcade game is back, and better than ever, with more graphics, more worlds, more enemies, more superpowers, and it's more addictive than ever. The hardest part is turning it off. Frogger on CD-ROM for PC and PlayStation game console. Revived, rebuilt, and ready to hop. Hey, buddy. You okay? Welcome back to Millionaire, everybody. If you just joined us, uh, J-Rob has uh, unfortunately made it to $1,000. Just like the rest, the rest of the rest of them. But yeah, we're going to hope that the next contestant here is going to do well and hopefully win $1 million today. Everybody? Please welcome to the stage, Quote 04. Hello. Welcome to the show, Quote. Yeah. All right. Hello. So, all right. so you already know the rules. You already know some of the lifelines. So... Are you ready to play? Yeah. All right, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? First question for 100 bucks. Here it is. Snake? By what name is sodium chloride more commonly known? Ketchup? Salt? Pepper? Mustard. Ah, just a, ah, just a little packet of sodium chloride. That's my answer is B. Final answer. Yeah. Final answer. Right for the first time for one hundred bucks. <laughs> Next question for two hundred. What, as the quotation goes, never sets on the British Empire? Jello? The sun? Or a broken bone? A clock? Oh, uh, yeah. 
put my memory on fails me for my history classes. It shall be B. Final answer? And that's final answer. Right again for 200 bucks. Next question for 300. What color was the Incredible Hulk when he gets angry? Purple, green, blue, orange. Yeah, we're talking about modern day Hulk, and it shall be B. Final answer? Final answer. All right, you got it right for 300 bucks. Next question for 500. Which food product is extracted from plants called beet and cane? Sugar, flour, salt, starch. Oh. Beet and cane. I feel like I shall know the answer, but I'm not sure, so... Remember, those lifelines are there when oh. you need them. Yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't wanna... Woke up this early, so I'll use the 50-50 lifeline. Final decision? Yeah. Alright, computer, please take away two incorrect answers, please. <laughs> Sugar and starch is hmm. left. All right. Oh, since it does say cane, hopefully she'll be a final answer. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. Right again for 500 bucks. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, next question is for $1,000 in your first threshold. <laughs> Which black and white animal lives on a diet of bamboo? Zebra? Dalmatian? Skunk? Panda? Oh, yeah, this is one we all know. It's D. Final yeah. answer? Final answer. And you were right again for $1,000. Yeah. yeah. I'll finally get a team, Bix. <laughs> all right, you did well. You got yourself $1,000 <laughs> so far. <laughs> And you reach a safe haven, which means you can't leave here with less than one thousand dollars. Nice. All right, and you also used up one of your lifelines so far. Yeah. But any, but anyways, we're are, if you're ready, let's move on to the next question, worth two, one thousand dollars. I'm ready. Two thousand dollars. What was Bob Parker's profession before he became a game show host? Doctor? Dietitian? Radio show host? Deli owner? Oh my. Damn, I didn't expect to have to use another one this early on. I might just have to use another one of my lifelines. Well, you can always ask my opinion if you want. Um. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll save the. Yeah, I'll. I'll do that. All right. 
So, here's what I think of the question. So, this... Bob Barker was my all-time favorite TV show host from back in the day. He hosts The Price is Right. And... I researched what he what he did before he became a TV show host and as far as I know it's not a doctor and it's not a dietitian or a deli owner and I'm very confident that it is C radio show host final answer question is is it gonna be your final answer Well, him going from radio to TV, I mean, I'll learn not exactly say he, it will have helped with experience, so, yeah, let's go with that, too. Final answer? Yes, final answer. Okay. So he just, so I... Now, I'm very confident it was a radio show host. Because I've researched this a long time ago. And it was the right answer! Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty. You got yourself $2,000. You used up two of your lifelines. And now you're going for $4,000 next. <laughs> Here's the next question. In the movie Big, Tom Hanks played... Tom Hanks' character played the four piano in which store? Toys R Us? FAO Swartz, KB Toys, Walmart. Crap, I've never seen that movie. So, I've never seen that movie, but I know I've never seen Toys R Us with that. Lower piano. I don't know what FAO Schwartz is. I don't think Walmart will ever have something like that. So, um, <laughs> I hope I'm right. I'm thinking maybe C. Final answer. Final answer. So, I know, I know Big the movie, and I remember that Tom Hanks, uh, played the f piano, f for piano. It was the most iconic scene in the whole movie. And it wasn't in Toys R Us or Walmart, because back then it didn't exist. And unfortunately, KB Toys wasn't it either. It was B. No! Damn it. I'm sorry. You're back down to $1,000. <laughs> Thank you for playing. That's right. <laughs> well. <laughs> and that sound means our time is up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for your attendance here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And for those watching at home, we will see you next time on another edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire.